guys, so as you guys have probably been able to tell for the, over the past 12 months, I have had this little beauty in my mouth. Now this is called a twin block or a plate. Um, I prefer to call it a plate because it's just easier than a twin block. As you guys probably know, me and my sister Sammy, we got these a couple yonks ago, um, over a year ago now. Someone requested that I do an experience on this. And so I'm going to do this since I won't have this for much longer. I'm going to get braces soon. So this is what my mouth looks like up close. This is gross. Why am I doing this so as you can see it's got like a little I don't know what you call it it's like a little thing and then it's got wires that go down into your gums or wire up the top so the way that you take it out is you put two fingers back here and then you pop it out <laughs> and this is a plate guys and then with the other one you just get your two thumbs and you just pop it out like that. Why am I making this? So this is what the plate looks like. Um, this is what the plate looks like and it goes into your mouth like that. And then that's sort of where your teeth goes, if that makes sense. Let's start with the top one. So this one is like a wire around the front of your teeth. Like as you guys can see, that's where the front of my teeth went. And then it's also got these ones that go down to your like back teeth. And then this is the bottom one. And that's just sort of where your pointy teeth go. They come out through that little thing. This is my plate. So now I'm going to take you through the experience of actually getting a plate. Now the first thing is that these are not fun to begin with because the guy takes like several plastic molds of your teeth and it's really gross and then they also make it into like concrete. They have like a concrete copy of your teeth and what my twin block does is as you guys can see my jaw, the bottom jaw, is moved like forward so it's like like that but what it used to be like before is this bottom part of my jaw was like moved back so I was like and my back teeth used to be a lot more back. I looked like Bart Simpson. Um, so that's what this did. This basically moved my jaw forwards and it also straightened up my teeth just a tad bit because that's actually what the braces are for. Not excited for that. I'm gonna cry. You can't eat curly whirlies with braces. So apart from the whole molding process, then once they give you your plate, you gotta go back every like six to eight weeks. Then they will readjust it. They will drill this part. They'll like make it so that it's more back so then your teeth can go more back and it sort of readjusts just the shape of your mouth because what it was my teeth were like that <laughs> they weren't actually like that that's a bit of an over exaggeration but they want your teeth to be like a curve that's what they want your teeth to look like my teeth were like that like obviously not exactly like that but yeah so yeah they sort of want to just make your teeth more curved and that's pretty much what this did now as you guys can see it's got a line down here this line for quite some time you've got to do like little turns in the back it's got a little hole and you like put a key in and then you like turn it this little gap gets wider and so basically what it does is it stretches your teeth out and you're just sat there like oh my god now I used to do this every Wednesday like I don't have to do it anymore the only reason that I've still got it is because so then none of the stuff gets undone so I'm almost done with my plate yay so excited for that um these teeth like the top back teeth would be spreading that way they would be like here and they'd want to be like out here and so that was quite painful for quite a long time but I would have to do it every week and then they sort of slowed it down it was every second week and now I'm not doing the turns anymore but so that it was basically just moving my teeth outwards which was not very fun I was stuck there like Ugh. the discomfort of it was just ill like it wasn't so much painful it was just really uncomfortable now I'm gonna move on to some sort of social sides of this now I want to warn you guys when you first get these if you are getting these when you first get this you will literally not be able to talk and if you have friends these friends will basically be forced to learn another language because your lisp is so intense especially right at the start no one could understand me my mouth was permanently full of drool I'll show you the noise that I made and so basically I was making that noise like all the time and my friends were basically forced to just learn another language and like sort of deal with it because as you guys can tell my lisp is still pretty strong when I've got that in my mouth which is not very fun because it means that it's very hard to talk and sometimes talking can become a bit of an effort. Another thing on the social side is when it is recess or lunch or whenever you need to eat you need to take it out. I have literally had friends say to me I am never ever prepared for when you do that and I'm like I'm never prepared for when I do that <laughs> let's be real here it is socially awkward when you have it because it's like 
and then it's like, what did she just do? And it's like, oh, I just took my plate out. And then it also gets really awkward when you have just finished recess and you're headed to your next class and you don't put it back in. And then your teacher's like, oh, I see your braces list now. And it's like, it wasn't braces and it's in my pocket. Thank you very much. So yeah, teachers will probably say something along those lines if you come to class and you don't have it in. So just put it back in before you go to class because teachers are pretty, pretty stupid. I'm pretty sure that's all there is. I'm gonna miss this because after that, I need braces and I'm like, girl, no thanks. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I finally did it. Woo! Um, I'm getting braces in literally just a couple of weeks. Oh my god. That's so scary to think about. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you thought it was gross, let me know below. Um, and if you want to see me do an actual braces experience video when I'm done with those, which could be up to like a year from now. Love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye! Check, check. Okay. Come on, come on. Let's keep it running till we burn out the sunset.